Within the annals of New York's criminal history, few events have resonated as deeply as the cold-blooded murder of police officer Edward Byrne. At the center of this heinous crime lies the controversial figure of Howard Pappy Mason, whose actions forever altered the criminal justice landscape. This story delves into the intricate details surrounding the case, shedding light on the parties involved and the far-reaching implications of this tragic event. The year was 1988, and New York City was at the epicenter of a crime wave. Brooklyn's South Jamaica neighborhood, deeply entrenched in illegal activities, emerged as the backdrop for one of the most shocking crimes in the city's history. Edward Byrne, a young police officer assigned to the 103rd Precinct, embarked on a promising law enforcement career, motivated by a deep sense of duty to protect and serve his community. His life was cut short tragically, at the tender age of 22 when he became an unintended victim of the relentless violence that plagued the streets. Howard Pappy Mason, a name etched into the city's criminal folklore, rose through the ranks of South Jamaica's vast underworld. Possessing a ruthless demeanor and an influential network, Pappy became a notorious figure, commanding respect and instilling fear amongst those who crossed his path. As Pappy's illegal activities expanded, law enforcement agencies began intensifying their efforts, in curbing the rampant organized crime gripping the city. Dedicated task forces were established, devoting significant resources to combating Pappy's operations and dismantling the criminal enterprises he was affiliated with. His ability to outmaneuver law enforcement only fueled their determination, earning him a reputation as a formidable adversary. The murder of Officer Byrne was a meticulously planned act of retaliation. Pappy, seeking to strike fear into the heart of law enforcement, orchestrated the execution as a response to the increased police presence in the neighborhood, which threatened his lucrative criminal enterprises. The chilling plot involved a network of individuals deeply entrenched in criminal activities, orchestrated by Pappy. Among them were Todd Mitchell and Philip Copeland, both trusted associates of Pappy, responsible for carrying out the ultimate act of violence against Officer Byrne. The trial that ensued drew unparalleled attention, with New York City collectively holding its breath. The evidence overwhelmingly pointed towards Pappy's involvement, and as the case unfolded, the full extent of his criminal empire was revealed. The prosecution meticulously presented an airtight case, highlighting Pappy's guilt and the calculated nature of the crime. Pappy Mason was ultimately convicted of orchestrating the murder of Officer Edward Byrne. This case sent shockwaves through law enforcement agencies nationwide, raising awareness of the dangers faced by officers who serve to protect their communities. The tragedy paved the way for intensified efforts to combat organized crime, and established community-based initiatives aimed at eradicating violence from the streets. The murder of Officer Edward Byrne stands as a stark reminder of the profound consequences that arise when lawlessness intersects with the dedicated individuals who strive to maintain order. Howard Pappy Mason's reign of terror, culminating in this tragedy, shook New York City to its core, leaving an indelible mark on a city striving for peace and justice. Pappy's journey stands as a testament to the enduring battle between law enforcement and criminal enterprises. As the shadows of his notoriety continue to loom, Pappy's life reminds us of the complexities surrounding crime, poverty, and the pursuit of a better future in the ever-evolving tapestry of New York City.